Hello everyone and welcome to US Computer Solutions for another how-to tutorial. My name is Joey. Today I'll be showing you how to set up the NHD15 premium CPU cooler. I'll also leave a link in the description below if you are interested in buying one. Those of you who are new to this channel, we perform how-to tech tutorials to help you in the tech world. So if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. Now if you are thinking of saving some money, this is a good cooler for high-end performance CPUs. Also it is a cheaper option than liquid and radiator coolers, it also performs as well. Now there are cheaper coolers than this one, but the computer that we are going to build soon is going to run some basic rendering and gaming. Stay tuned for that in my upcoming videos. This cooler is highly recommended for i7 CPUs and i9s. It will soon be installed on socket LGA1151. Now for those of you who do not know what this is, this is a dual heatsink with dual fan that helps keep the CPU aka the brain of the computer cool at all times. Alright guys, so let's get started. So right out of the box, we have the heatsink and fan attached to the middle of the heatsink. Now this fan needs to be disattached so we can access the screws that will mount to the motherboard mounting bar. Of course we will attach that later. Over here are the cables that will power up the fans. Some thermal paste, we're going to apply this on the CPU later. These are steel clips that will connect the fan to the heatsink and of course some branding they sent out with the packaging. Over here is a screwdriver. This will help us reach those far away screws to mount in the mount bars for that motherboard. Over here are mounting bars that we're going to attach the behind the motherboard for those screws to attach into it. Of course some screws and here are manuals for different types of sockets. You have AMD LG115 series, LG A20 series. Over here are some spacers for some AM models and that's it. Okay, let's set it up. Alright, so first things first, let's get that box that is separating the fan from the heatsink. Alright, slowly let's get those clips out. Do not hold and pressure on this, it will snap. Very slowly. This is how the fan looks like. Yes, it's a pretty big fan. Okay. All right, so let's attach those steel clips to the second fan. Now let's attach that fan to the heatsink. All right, so now it's attached. All right, we're gonna get this side of the motherboard, but first we're going to install the mountain bars on the motherboard. All right, so here is our motherboard. Now we are going to install the back plate and the mountain bars on the motherboard. Now if you remember the parts that I showed you before, you have, what we're going to need is the screws. These are the mountain bars. And underneath that is the mount plate. Now I'm gonna show you how this is going to be installed. You have to do it the very proper way and be very careful. So it's going to be aligned this way. Okay, let's put that carefully inside. It has to align, of course, this way. Do not put it upside down, you'll damage the motherboard. 
And now very slowly, we're going to flip that. And we are going to fold this one. All right, so these are the mountain bars. You can either install them this way or the other way around. But in our case, I want to install for the fans to be not this side. I don't want them to interfere with the rams. I'm going to install them this way. So let's put that in. Very slowly and carefully. Right now we are going to screw them on the side. How do they see what I'm doing over here? You have to really firmly have these screws tightened. All right, so now let's get that heatsink. All right, so first of all, we're going to remove this plastic cover from over here. And let's install it. Just make sure the liner, we're not gonna install it. We'll still have to put thermal paste on. And it looks like it is going to fit. There's a big fan. All right, I'm going to try to spin it the other way because we're going to put the fan in the middle. And I think this way would be the best. All right, let me show you how to insert thermal paste. Thermal paste doesn't need to be put in a big amount, just a little, little bit like this yeah. this much is enough all right very steady and slowly i'm gonna use that long screwdriver to get those screws in Try to screw it in evenly a few times from each side. They will give you a hard time before they latch on, so you have to be very patient and gentle with it. One has to be inserted in before the second one. And then you have to push on the spring in order for them to latch on, and then you firmly tight them on, very slowly in this manner as you see Let's install the second fan. All right, so here's our second fan. Let's get that in place very slowly and steady. Alright now, so let's connect the cables. 
All right, so we will get, of course, a Y cable that splits because we have two fans, and we will get two adapter cables. The cables are supposed to be connected in this manner. Not, do not connect these and then connect this to one. So you can't be doing this. You can't connect these two fans together like this. And there's dropping them in. Each cable has to be independently installed. And you cannot do it from another, another way around. So this is how they are correctly going to be installed. Also, I must mention, do not connect one cable to the Y and then give these two directly to them because you will ruin your motherboard f electricity flow this way. This is how it's supposed to be correctly installed. Y goes through the motherboard and the two cables over here and then the fan power cables. And then we will shall connect it to our CPU and let me show you where that goes. So now they are installed and of course I have the wiring this way that's because it is for demonstration purpose all right so now I'm going to just tidy these up and I'm going to insert it inside of the case with everything plugged in and um, we'll see how it goes oh there we go the motherboard looks fun functioning everything looks function correctly the fans are spinning everything seems to be in great working order here you are we just installed this beautiful fan and heatsink and i hope you enjoyed this video please comment subscribe and see you again next time